Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel. We are back reacting to another trailer. This is a big one. This is the uh, official trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. This is the second trailer for this that I'll be reacting to. Um, I already reacted to uh, the first one that came out like a month or two ago. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, check it out. I'll link it in the description. Uh, that one was insane because it showed off Doc Ock and Green Goblin's like little explosive thing. Uh, since then, we've gotten some official posters that feature Green Goblin, um, so we know he's in it. We know most of like the previous villains are going to be in it, so like Sandman, uh, Electro, the Lizard, um, things like that. Um, and then we're we're fairly confident that uh, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield will be in this movie. You know, no guarantees, but we're fairly confident. And then there's also a strong possibility of uh, Matt Murdock's Daredevil being in this in some capacity and potential future projects with him as well. So we're, we're stoked, we're happy. Um, honestly, they don't need to show anything crazy in this trailer. I think if they showed everything in the trailers, you know, what fun would that be to see it in the theaters? But um, I'm excited to check this out anyway. Uh, before we jump into this uh, trailer, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and uh, stick around. See if you're interested in watching more of my videos. Otherwise, uh, leave a like. Helps my channel out a lot. Uh, if you're interested in uh, things like full-length reactions for TV shows and movies, consider supporting me on Patreon. That would mean a lot as well. On Patreon, you can get featured in every single one of my videos. Um, but other than that, let's check out the official trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. I always flip in like, stingers before the actual trailer. Oh, he's a sad boy. In this. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. It's probably a good week for him. Okay, that's dangerous, Peter. <laughs> you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider Man. started getting some visitors. Ooh. We saw that from last time. From every universe. There he is. Oh, I'm not a fan of the new suit, honestly. Hello, Peter. Hello, Peter. You're not Peter Oi. Parker. Yeah, he is. I mean, well, not your Peter Parker. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? That's his name. There are others Seems like they're we need to send them back. somewhat friendly so, there. Scooby do this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple magic words myself, starting with the word please. Damn Zendaya. Please. Tell him how it is. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Flying out into the darkness. Electro? Where are you at? What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider Man. We yeah. their fate. That's true. They all did die fighting Spider Man. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Oh, yeah, Peter probably doesn't want to kill him. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. Ooh, that looks like no, nanotech. Ooh, he looks way better. Peter, you're struggling. Damn everything you fun. want while the world tries to make you choose. Oh! This is all my fault. I can't save everyone. Oh, they're wonderful. I like this suit. I didn't. I don't like the black suit. Stacy vibes. Don't break her neck, please. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Zendaya. Please don't kill her. What's happening? They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. I wonder if he's talking about the six that we see there, or, or if there's like Spider Monday surprise people that we might see. Oh, that's insane. I'm so excited for this movie. Okay, so um, 
judging based off that trailer, it looks like some of the the villains that come through aren't necessarily going to be as antagonistic, uh, right? Like, they they had a scene where uh, Doc Ock was kind of just like chatting it up with with Peter and his friends, <laughs> so they seem to be kind of chill. But Doc Ock also was like in Spider Man Two by the end, like in the beginning, and then at the end was slightly redeemed in a sense, right? Like he he didn't die an out and out villain, um, and that's kind of always kind of been the history of Doc Ock in some respects, anyway, um, where he's not. He's not always just a straight out bad guy um, where some other villains are. Um, I wonder if if uh, if if the rest of them will be antagonistic. The the three Electro, Sandman and um, and the Lizard, they seemed the general vibe seemed that they were a little more upsetty spaghetti um, <laughs> about the situation. Um, but it looks like. So they all come through due to this botched spell and um, Doctor Strange is kind of explaining to them like uh, like it's their fate for these people to die. So I assume I assume he wants to like send them back maybe, right? Like he wants to send them back and then uh, the villains probably assume or, you know, just, it comes to light somehow that if they go back, they will die because in their universes, they all died fighting Spider-Man. You know, partly explains why they hate him. You know, exposition for Peter. He's like, oh, that's why they're trying to punch me in the face. Um, so yeah, they all died fighting Spider-Man. And if they go back, presumably they will die going back through this dimensional rift or whatever. And then you see in that moment, Peter's like, frick, like he can't. Peter can't actively like sit back and just let these people die, even though they are villains, right? And I think that's great. Um, Tom Holland, uh, when they revealed this trailer, they did kind of like a live Q and A there, uh, and Tom Holland was there. Someone asked him like, "What is your favorite aspect about Spider Man?" And he answered, um, "Peter Parker, like that that side of him, the Peter Parker side that is." like kind of uncompromising when it comes to doing the right thing, even if it, um, even if he has to put himself behind other people, um, which is kind of like the essence of Spider-Man and Peter Parker in general, like he's always gonna sacrifice his own happiness for other people. Um, and so like in that moment, he's like, frick, <laughs> gotta take this box. Um, and then which I assume leads into the, the conflict between, um, uh, Doctor Strange and Spider-Man. Um, they showed off a couple new suits. Uh, they showed off uh, the black and gold suit, which honestly, I think it looks bad. <laughs> Not like quality. I just think the design of the suit itself looks stupid. <laughs> um, I've never been the biggest fan of, of like a black suit Spider-Man. Um, you know, Spider-Man 3, it looked okay. Uh, with the with the Ven Venom uh, symbiote suit, um, I think Venom himself doesn't look bad, um, like in the comics and animated things. I haven't seen the Venom movie. I should watch that. Um, but I wasn't like in this particular film. I'm not a fan of the black and gold suit. I just think it it looks bad. Um, the other suit though that they showed, the integrated suit or whatever, I think that one looks kind of decent. Um, it's it's more of a traditional like Spider Man suit, but it's got some like gold inlay in it um and more of like a sandy gold than a like a like a bright gold if that makes sense i don't know i think that suit looks better um there was also a shot of zendaya mj possibly about to die um kind of falling from some structure the same way kind of gwen stacy fell uh in the amazing spider-man so hopefully they do not kill her off that would be a bummer Although that would be maybe an interesting way of like, I mean, Zendaya is kind of a superstar. So <laughs> maybe, maybe her contract is up or, or, or maybe she doesn't want to do any more Spider-Man movies. I don't know. That would be an interesting way to uh, maybe kill her off and, and then potentially introduce like a, a Gwen Stacy character into the MCU. Um, that would be kind of like a switcheroo um, from how it went in like the comics, right? Because I think originally 
Peter falls in love with Gwen Stacy first, and then she dies, and then he falls for MJ, I think. I could be wrong. Um, but I'm personally a fan of Zendaya, so I hope she doesn't die. I think she brings a, a light, sarcastic, levity, kind of more like a realistic take on just the in-universe events. Like, she's she's the normal person that's observing these things happen and gives some sarcastic remarks and, and truth bombs and just act, she's a real she acts like a real person <laughs> uh which is refreshing sometimes in these movies uh we didn't see uh toby mcguire or andrew garfield which is good i i i think that moment when you see them in the theaters is going to be something special uh i did hear that um uh sony brazil or whatever accidentally screwed up um and so like there's a like a two second clip or whatever where they're flying they're like li the lizard uh sandman and electro are kind of like flying towards spider-man and uh in this cut of the trailer uh lizard kind of just like keeps going um but in the brazil cut like i just saw this like two second clip on twitter on accident but um, in the Brazil cut, he gets like punched by something invisible. So either in that particular cut, they edited out, uh, one of the Spider-Men or it was Miles Morales, which would be sick. Um, but yeah, so Brazil kind of screwed up on that one. <laughs> so people know there's someone else in that fight that we just don't know who it is. Um, I've also heard some rumblings that this could potentially be Tom Holland's last Spider-Man film. That would be interesting because technically, I guess he's not under contract for any more, at least that we know of publicly. Um, that would be very interesting. Uh, I don't know how people would react to that. I mean, I guess Tobey Maguire only did, you know, three Spider-Men. Everyone loves him. Andrew Garfield only did two. Most people enjoy him. Um, so, you know, they, those guys don't feel like they had a relatively short tenure, if that makes sense. Um, even though they did less films, but for some reason, if, if Tom Holland were to stop being Spider-Man after this, whether his character dies or whatever happens, it would kind of feel like a short tenure. I don't know why. Um, but if, if that invisible character that punches lizard in the brazil trailer if that is miles morales that could actually be a very interesting way of of kind of replacing tom holland and introducing the character of miles morales at the same time i think it, that might make the movie a little convoluted and uh, a little busy but if they could make it work that would be dope um either way i'm super excited uh for this movie to come out it comes out december 17th i will be in theaters like that Thursday night. Um, I personally like to, to try and get a, a screening as close to midnight as I can. Um, I just think it's more fun. You know, they have the 7 p.m. screenings or whatever. But I personally, I like, I miss the days of like waiting at midnight for this like, the specific like midnight showing of this film before they did 7 p.m. It was just, it was felt more like an event and it was more fun. Um, so I'm personally going to do that. Um, otherwise, I'm just stoked. Um, hopefully you guys are excited. I know I'm, what, like 12 hours late. I didn't have a chance to watch this last night. And then I had work in the morning. So got it up now. Getting it as soon as possible. Um, so hopefully you guys show this video some love. Um, again, uh, if you liked my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. It helps my channel out a lot. Uh, if you're new here, Subscribe if you want to see more reactions from anything I got. You know, if you're interested in sticking around, that would be fun as well. Um, and then lastly, if you are interested in full-length reactions for movies and TV shows and things like that, consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all my full uncut reactions over there. Um, on Patreon, you can also become a super supporter and get featured in every single one of my videos. Uh, but other than that, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.